Honorable Leader, the uh, Alberta Liberal Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We go from billing Albertans for the Premier's political aspirations to breaking the backs of those Albertans who protect and build Alberta. Earlier this year, the Conservative government repeatedly ignored appeals from corrections officers to address safety issues at the new Edmonton Remand Centre. This created dangerous work conditions for both residents and workers. In desperation, the corrections officers staged a wildcat strike only, when safe, only then were safety issues dealt with. To the Premier, why are you punishing all government workers for the fact that corrections officers exercise their legitimate right not to work in unsafe work conditions? Honourable uh, Minister uh, of Justice. I thank this member for his question, but at the same time, it is a little bit skinny on the facts. Mr. Speaker, we recognize the legal right to strike, but in that particular instance, Mr. Speaker, the Court of Queen's Bench of Alberta, Justice Rook, indicated in his independent opinion that it was an illegal strike and imposed fines upon the union. It also cost the taxpayers $13 million because of the union's illegal actions, Mr. Speaker. That's not acceptable. Yeah. Speaker, the fact is that minister was in a rush to open it up, moved all the folks over on one weekend. Fact of the matter is this premier and her government endangered lives. This conservative government has stormy relations with all its employees, doctors, teachers, nurses, everybody who works for them, including AUP workers. So it's not surprising that the union chose arbitration, a right premier law he'd established and which this premier now wants to take away. It's like slapping someone in the face and then saying, hey, let's do business. Yeah. To the Premier, why is your government bargaining in bad faith instead of allowing arbitration to proceed? Is your government's case that weak? The uh, Honourable uh, Premier. Well, Mr. Speaker, we have great relations with teachers and doctors. In fact, they came to the table and worked with us to ensure that we could continue to have sustainable services in education and health care in the long term. That's what we promised Albertans. You know, Mr. Speaker, we want to have real discussions with the AUPE with respect to negotiations. That's why we've introduced the legislation that we have. And, Mr. Speaker, uh, before we introduced this legislation, I had the opportunity to sit down with Guy Smith to ask him whether or not he was prepared to come to the table. He told me that he wasn't. We have a responsibility to ensure that we're supporting public services in this province for all Albertans, and we'll do that, Mr. Speaker. about the bullying of the doctors and the teachers, how those contracts were done. Yeah, we do. Bullying workers is bad business, Madam Premier. Stripping employees of their rights to arbitration and attacking free speech rights are bad for morale, not to mention a violation of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. These attacks on public employees create a toxic work environment, increased stress, illness, sick days, and a decreased productivity. And then, of course, there'll be the millions of taxpayer dollars spent to defend against the Charter Challenge. Anybody with half a brain can tell you that that's no way to run a business or a government. To the Premier, when will your government stop bullying Alberta? Honourable Premier or someone to answer, or the Minister? Mr. Speaker, it is not bullying to bring good government to Albertans. That's what they've asked for and that's what they're getting. We made a promise to Albertans with respect to uh, keeping Albertans safe. Uh, and strikes in the public service are illegal for a reason. And when we found out this spring that the sanctions that were in the Act were not sufficient to prevent a strike and keep Albertans safe, we immediately decided that we needed to look at them. And we've reviewed it carefully. We're now brought forward a bill which will be de debated again today with respect to the improved sanctions in that bill so that Albertans' safety and health will not be put at risk.